Good evening. Thanks for watching KJCT News 8 at 530. I'm Megan McNeil. Today marks 30 straight days of the government shutdown. President Trump addressed the nation yesterday, introducing what he calls a common sense compromise. KJCT Jason Berger joins us live in our studio tonight to see what you all think about Trump's speech. Jason. Hey there, thanks for watching KKCO 11 News at 5. I'm Megan McNeil. We start with a developing story. A man was killed in a snowmobile crash this afternoon in Grand Junction. It happened around 1230 in the canal south of H Road near 22 Road. Police tell our crews on scene the man in his 40s took a turn while riding in the canal on his snowmobile. He crashed and died at the scene. The Mesa County coroner will be responsible for releasing the identity of the man. The Grand Junction Police Department is investigating the crash, but it's unknown if the man was wearing a helmet or not. No word on if alcohol or drugs played a part. The accident, again, still under investigation. Good evening. Thanks for watching KJCT News 8 at 10. I'm Megan McNeil. A new coffee shop called Pressed will be open in Palisade next week, but their coffee just might be a little different than what you're used to. KJCT Jason Berger has this one. Where the news comes first. Hey there, thanks for watching KJCT News 8 at 10. I'm Megan McNeil. We start with a developing story. A man is in jail on murder charges after a shooting in Colburn last night. Just before 8 o'clock last night, the Mesa County Sheriff's Office was called to an alleged shooting at 513 Glenarm Avenue. When they got there, authorities say they found a dead adult woman inside of the home. The sheriff's office says they got information on a suspect and began looking for Adam Trevor Bogey, 36 of Colburn. He's on your screen right now. But then around 9 o'clock, Bogey was arrested on I-70 at mile marker 87 by Garfield County authorities. Bogey was taken to the Mesa County Jail on charges of murder in the second degree. No bond has has been set for him yet, according to the sheriff's office. Sheriff's office says the Mesa County coroner will identify the victim and find out the cause in the manner of death.